Hi everyone, this is Midnight Mommy. So for today's tutorial, ituturo ko sa inyo ang tungkol sa series circuit. Pero gagamitan natin siya ng Ohm's Law. So mag-start muna tayo dito sa Ohm's Law. So sa Ohm's Law natin, meron tayo dito formula na the current is equal to your voltage over your resistance. So tandaan natin dito na yung current natin. This one is measured in amperes. So yun yung unit natin. And then for the voltage, um, ginagamit natin na unit dyan is volts. Or v, and then sa resistance, ginagamit natin dyan yung unit ng ohms. So, make sure na kapag gagamit kayo ng uh, formula ng ohms, so dapat yung mga units natin is properly expressed siya. Okay? So, dapat ang gagamitin lang natin is ampere, volt, and ohms. So, kapag hindi naka-express sa mga ganung units, kailangan tayong gumawa muna ng conversions. So, sa series circuit, meron lang isang path yung current na pwede niyang daanan. So, so mapapansin nyo na sa isang series circuit, yung ating resistors is magkakasunod. Okay? So, para sa lang train. So, sa circuit analysis, ang ginagawa natin dyan, nagko-compute tayo dyan na tinatawag natin na R equivalent o ito yung equivalent resistance na tinatawag natin. Minsan, ang tawag din nila dyan is the total resistance. So, equivalent resistance is as if uh, meron lang tayong isang resistance sa ating buong circuit. Okay? And then, uh, meron din tayo dyan voltage. So, madali nito kasi yung total voltage mo, automatically, kung ano yung voltage source dito, yun na rin ang value ng iyong total voltage. And then, meron din tayong total current. So, yung total current natin, nakocompute natin to by using our Ohm's Law. So, dito na papasok yung Ohm's Law natin na the current is equal to voltage over your resistance. Kaya kailangan dito, makocompute muna natin yung R equivalent. So, para makocompute natin yung ating total current kasi yung total voltage naman natin, ito na mismo yan kung ano yung given natin na voltage. So, sa isang series circuit, ang current natin sa bawat isang resistor is also equal to the total current. Okay? So, in short, iisa lang yung current na tumatakbo dito sa tatlong resistors natin in this example. So, ang isang series circuit, tinatawag din natin ito na voltage divider kasi yung total voltage natin, nadi-divide siya sa kung ilan yung mga resistances na meron tayo. Okay? So, kung ilan yung mga resistors natin, kapag in mo yung mga voltage across each resistor, um, ang makukuha mo na value doon is your total voltage. So, find equivalent resistance, total current, and voltage across each resistor. So, dito sa ating circuit diagram, meron tayo ditong 3 resistances, and then meron tayo ditong voltage source na 10 volts. Okay, so identify muna natin yung mga given natin. So sa R1 natin, meron tayong 8 ohms. R2 is also 8 ohms. And yung ating R3 is 4 ohms. So para makuha natin yung equivalent resistance, ang gagawin lang natin is kunin lang natin yung sum ng ating resistances. So this is just equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So meron tayong 8 ohms plus 8 ohms plus 4 ohms. So kapag in natin to lahat, ang makukuha natin ng equivalent resistance is equal to 20 ohms. So next, i-compute naman natin yung ating total current. So given tayo dito ng total voltage na 10 volts. So again, ang total voltage natin is kung ano yung makikita nyo rito na voltage source, yun na yung mismo na value ng ating total voltage. So, para makompute natin ang current, gagamitan natin to ng Ohm's Law. So, sa Ohm's Law natin, meron tayong I is equal to V over R. So, dito, gagamitin natin to na I, T. So, that is the total current. And then, yung V natin dito is the total voltage. And then, yung R natin is the R equivalent. So, substitute lang natin yung mga values. So, meron tayo ditong 10 volts divided by 20 ohms. So, ang ating pong total current is just equal to 0.55 ampere. So, remember na yung ating total current, okay, yung total current natin is also equal to the current in R1 na equal din siya sa current sa R2 at equal din siya sa current sa I3. Okay, so, in short, ang current natin is iisa lang okay, for the entire circuit. So, ang tinatanong sa atin dito next, voltage across each resistor. So, kung babalik tayo dito sa ating Ohm's Law, so sa Ohm's Law natin meron tayong V over R. I is equal to V over R. So, para makompute natin ang voltage, so kailangan lang natin gawin is i-cross-multiply lang natin yung current at yung resistance. 
So, meron tayong I times R. So, compute na natin yung the voltage across the re resistance number 1. So, meron tayong ditong V1 is just equal to I1 times R1. So, yung I1 natin is also equal to your IT which is 0 0.5 amperes. So, times yung R1 natin, ang R1 natin is 8 ohms. So, therefore, ang V1 natin is just equal to 4 volts. Now, doon naman tayo sa V2. So, ang V2 natin is I2, R2. So, again, ang I2 natin is just equal to your total current. So, meron tayong 0 0.5 amperes. So, yung ating R2 is 8 ohms. Okay, so, makukuha rin nating value dito for V2 is also 4 volts. And then, finally, meron tayong V3. So, ang V3 natin is I3, R3. So, again, ang I3 natin is just equal to your total current. So, 0 0.5 amperes times natin yung ating R3 na 4 ohms. So, therefore, ang ating V3 is just equal to 2 volts. Find the equivalent resistance, total current, and voltage across each resistor. So, know that 1 kilo ohm is equal to 1,000 ohms. Okay, so sa problem natin, compute muna natin yung ating REQ. So, since series circuit to, ang gagawin lang natin, i-add lang natin yung ating tatlong resistances. So, R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, so ang R1 natin is 3 kilo ohms. Plus, yung R2 natin is 10 kilo ohms. And then, yung R3 natin is 5 kilo ohms. So, therefore, ang ating R equivalent is just equal to 18 kilo ohms. Now, kung i-convert natin to sa ohms, this one is just equal to 18,000 ohms. So, next, i-compute naman natin yung ating total current. So, yung total current natin, this is just equal to your total voltage divided by your REQ. So, ang total voltage natin dito, remember, is kung ano yung makikita nyo rito sa circuit na ating voltage source. So, ang voltage source natin dito is 9 volts. So, 9 volts divided by yung REQ natin na 18,000 ohms. So, makukompute natin dito sa calculator for the total current is... So, this is 0 0.0005 amperes. So, ngayon, compute naman natin yung voltage across each resistor. So, remember na this is a series circuit, kaya ang total current natin is just equal to I1, which is also equal to I2, and also I3. So, gagamitin natin ulit yung ohms law natin. So, ang ohms law natin is I is equal to V over R. So, para makompute ang V again, cross-multiply lang yung I and R. Kaya, mangyayari dito is V is equal to I times R. So, meron tayong V1 is equal to I1 times R1. So, kung sa substitute natin to meron tayong 0.005 amperes times yung ating R1 na 3 kilo ohms. So, itong 3 kilo ohms, gagawin ko tong 3,000 ohms. Kasi, remember, kailangan yung ating unit is naka ohms lang siya for the resistance. So, pag kilo yan, kailangan natin siyang i-convert to. So, ang V1 natin is equal to 1.5 volts. Next, yung ating V2 is I2, R2. So, this is 0 0.0005 amperes. Times yung ating R2. So, ang R2 po natin dito is 10 uh, kilo ohms. So, gagawin natin siyang 10,000 ohms. So, therefore, ang ating V2 is equal to 5 volts. And then, finally, yung ating V3. So, ang V3 is I3, R3. So, again, this is 0 0.0005 amperes times meron tayong 5 kilo ohms. So, gagawin natin siyang 5,000 ohms. So, therefore, ang V3 natin is equal to 2.5 volts. So ngayon, tingnan natin, no, pag in nyo itong 1.5 plus 5 plus 2.5, ang makukuha po nating sagot dito is also 9 volts. So sana po nakatulong ng malaki sa inyo itong tutorial na to for a series circuit. So abangan nyo po yung susunod kong tutorial, didiscuss ko naman doon at tungkol sa parallel circuit. So kung meron kayong mga questions 
or meron kayong mga suggested topics na gusto nyong gawin natin na uh, video tutorial, pwede po kayong mag-type dito sa ating comment section. And I'll see you on my next video.